Hello again. So this will be uh, the continuation of the Elpinid playlist I started uh, a month ago. So we covered three groups of European Elpinids. Uh, we've done the first of Asian Elpinids, that was on the Jewish Elpinids. And this will be about Asian Elpinids more generally. It's actually uh, two uh, more typical Asian Elpinids and one Armenian. Uh, who doesn't fit neatly into any of these groups, but I've put him here uh, in this one. Uh, and then next time we'll do the Central Asian ones, the, the Turanids and a couple of uh, Alpinoid uh, Tibetans. So uh, first here we have the most typical example, the only typically Alpine example. Uh, this fellow is uh, Druze uh, from Shuf uh, in southern Syria. So that's a good example of what an Asian Alpine it looks like. Uh, the Druze uh, actually have uh, a history which is it ca can be true or not, which says that they emigrated from Yemen. Uh, but the uh, this this fellow has a local origin. Uh, Kuhn says he can only have a local origin given that he belongs to a local Alpine uh, variant, whereas the Yemenis are very long skulled. They have very typical. Uh, Classical Mediterranean and Arabic uh, phenotypes, as well as a few, a few brachycephals, but of a different uh, variety, not this uh, alpinate form. Okay, so now we move on to a couple that are more atypical. This second specimen is typically alpine, except that he has a longer face, and he is a Syrian uh, from Damascus. His extreme facial length probably comes from Iranid, which is a major phenotype in uh, Syria. Uh, and then we move on to this chap, and again, he's an Armenian, so he doesn't really neatly fit into this group or the European group, uh, but he is in, in the Asian Alpinate section in uh, Kuhn's The Races of Europe. I've, I've noted that he seems to have a higher skull that is typical of Alpinids, uh, which uh, could be to do with the fact uh, Kuhn mentions that uh, most of the Alpinids or Alpinoids uh, in Armenia are dinarisized since the, the Taurid phenotypes are the main types there, uh, so it may be uh, linked to that, it probably is. But he says that this man represents the the Alpinoid uh, prototype, the prototype of the Caucasian uh, Barakisevil. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the conclusion of, of this uh, short, and again, I'll finish the Alpinoid playlist very shortly. Uh, please sub and share as always to help grow the channel. We've uh, just hit 200, so uh, that's great news. Um, hopefully with the greater activity we'll grow even faster in the future. Cheers and thank you.